morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our special edition of the Coffee with Craig show. I'm here with uh, with um, I'm here with Camille Bramada, who is my personal um, trainer for uh, mobility. So, uh, yeah. um, um, Camille, great, thank you for joining us thank for you. this little show. And uh, you know, really, for two years or up until two years ago, I didn't do anything for mobility. Mobility. Just, you know, some weights, some other training, some boxing training, different things. But we started about two years ago doing this uh, mobility training, and uh, which I'd never even heard of before. And it really has made a big difference in my mobility, I would say. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing and why you're focusing on mobility and what does that really mean for people? Yeah, mobility is like uh, our gate for other physical activeness, yeah? So we first we need mobility and then the other stuff. So then running, then strength training, then all the million stuff, yeah? All general sports. So mobility is like the gate for other stuff. Right. Yeah? If you don't have the mobility, it's very yeah. hard to do anything else. Exactly. It just prevents injuries, yeah, and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. And I see a lot of uh, especially people as they're getting older with broken hips and hurt knees yeah. and you know, they gotta replace their knees, they gotta replace their hips. And I, you know, I feel this mobility is really, let's say, prolonging the life of my hips and knees. Exactly, exactly. Because when we have good mobility, it's much more better to prevent injuries, yeah? To be in better shape, mo just move better. Right, yeah. just in general way. Then, yeah. you know, I see a lot of times, even in the gym, you know, you've got some pretty guys that look like they're in great shape. But yeah. you can really tell they have zero mobility yeah. or very low. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I don't exactly. listen to that there but um it seems like it's they're not doing anything for mobility and this is i assume going to cause them problems later exactly exactly then they just don't have to answer the phone just like that yeah right. so it's lack of mobility but it's just pathologic state right oh, I yeah they did that just to show their arm <laughs> yeah so maybe the other way. so um there's a lot of things going on with mobility and um you know that we want to go over and but one of the things that uh, that I was asking Camille about is, look, we're we're all very busy. We're all business people. And I think some days I feel like I'm probably busier than anyone else in the world. So what I've asked Camille to do is really break this down to just a five minute everyday workout. You get out of bed. You don't have time. You got to get in the shower, take care of the kids, take care of the wife, the husband, whatever, girlfriend, boyfriend get ready for work, you know, you don't want to miss the bus or, you know, for me heading to the airport quite often, I don't want to miss the plane. So we've really, uh, Camille's really broken this down into um, five minute, a minimum five minute workout, which we all have time for. And that's why we're focusing on this is what can you really do in five minutes to at least feel a little bit better and kind of be able to move around a little bit. Of course, it's not enough, but it's something. Yeah, yeah, it's like base. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the base. And, yeah. and I always feel like even if I get up in the morning, it's very difficult. You know, I don't have 10 minutes a lot of times, but I do have five and I'm going to make five minutes. And what I'd like to do is these shows that we're going to put on, it's really five minutes. And we got about five or six episodes this time of just different things you can do right when you get up in the morning before taking care of everything else. Exactly. exactly. So, so okay, so thank you. This is just one intro that you'll get and the next five episodes will just be, will just be the, you know, basically get out of bed, do a bit of stretching, do a bit of mobility and, and be ready to work and be ready to go to work. Of course, if you want, if you've got more time and you want to do more, you'll be able to contact uh, Camille. He'll, Hill's contacts will be in the, in the text of all of these. Uh, all of these shows, and you can call him or reach him uh, via via Facebook or some uh, some social media. If you're actually in Warsaw and you want to book some uh, some classes with him, or maybe something online as well, probably possible. But these will just be five minute shows. Just get up, things you can do. Um, you know, a little little things that you can do that you do have time for. I have time for it, so for sure you do too. And it will make a difference in your life. So. Maybe you won't feel it the first week or two, but it's coming, yeah, and it's yeah. coming, and maybe you'll be like, oh, this was hard the first couple of days, but it's really worth it, and it does make, you know, whatever, carrying your baggage or just bringing stuff around, you know, you're a little bit more mobile, you just walk easier and nicer than, than if you don't do it, so 
Don't give up after the first edition. It may not even seem like you're doing anything, but it's really getting your hips, really hips, knees, back, everything uh, kind of in order, yeah? Exactly, and thoracic spine, yeah. Yeah and, I, yeah, and I noticed a lot of things I was doing. I was using my spine, using my back, when I should have been using my hips more. Exactly, like so, most people. Like, like most people. Yeah, then. yeah. So, you know, I didn't even realize my hips were flexible until we started working on this. And okay, even after two years, they're not that flexible, but at least I know they should be. Yeah, yeah. So, so thank you for watching the intro. And again, it's five minutes. Uh, and, you know, it's really just focusing on, uh, on mobility and making sure that you're just able to do other things better. And if you're working out a lot already, I think, and you're not doing, you're not doing mobility or you're not doing all these things, this will just help you with that and help you with any sports, I think, yeah, as well. Yeah. So it's just additional to what you're already doing if you're doing something. So uh, enjoy, I hope you enjoy these shows. And if it's if five minutes is just too short for you, you could put them all together and do them all at once if you want. But, uh, but I think for all of us that are actually working, um, doing things every day, we don't have time for a lot, of, uh, a lot of different things every day, but just do spend the five minutes on yourself um, daily. And this will really, over time, will really, you'll start feeling. So enjoy the shows and of course, give us any feedback.